So how long does SEO actually take for a home service type business to get it found on the first page of Google? Well, I'm going to show you guys two examples of two websites that I was able to help push to the first page of Google within a 30 day period by simply following the SEO rules and SEO structure I follow with every website that I build. Let me show you this method and how quickly you can get a business towards the top of Google and start generating you more leads for your business. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself SEO. And on this video, I'm gonna show you guys how quickly SEO can work for a home service and contractor type business. See, the thing with contractors and home service type businesses, what they don't realize is that SEO is incredibly simple for many of them in their business. The reason is because nobody's really structuring out these websites for these contractors. You see, contractors, for the most part, don't really care about this online stuff. You know, they're so busy out there doing their thing. A lot of them have word of mouth. A lot of them are getting business these, these old-fashioned ways. But the sooner or later, the ones that reach out to me, sooner or later, they start running into problems where they're starting to understand and realize that they need to start getting their business online, getting their, getting their services found in their locations and things like that. And the thing is that no other contractor's doing it either. So when they end up building something, it ranks up incredibly quickly. Now, of course, it doesn't work for everything. And depending on, on this, the areas and the competition and things like that, it's going to take a lot longer. For example, let's say you're a carpet cleaning business out in Sacramento, California. I guarantee you there's probably like 50 other carpet cleaners in there. And most people in carpet cleaning were kind of jumping into this online stuff years and years ago. So the chances of you building a website and getting your business ranking at the top of Google is very, very slim. Same holds true for something like junk removal, even though one of my examples is junk removal here, is that guys in the junk removal business arena kind of got jumped into the bandwagon of SEO and they, a lot of them know about it now. So it's becoming more and more competitive. So basically ranking a website, uh, using SEO to rank a website, get it found on that first page of Google and generating leads with it is really not all that difficult. If you do, if you follow the SEO rules that I've constantly outlined in my channel here, so basically the title tag, the meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, and the content of the website, and a lot of other stuff like how the website's structured and things like that. That's all you really need to get these websites to rank. And the examples I'm gonna show you are basically just lead generating websites. They are not, we're not worried about Google business profiles. We're not worried about ranking that map list we don't care. The businesses aren't located in the cities that we're trying to rank for. We're just building up these lead generating websites in areas where nobody's really built out a website to compete with and show you how quickly these lead generating websites can rank for a business where there's basically no competition. So the first one I want to share with you guys is for the junk takers out in the business owner. He lives where I live is in Paso Robles, California. It's about 30,000 people. There's a town north of us. that's about 12 miles away that he doesn't really rank for in his map listing, you know? And so we wanted to come up with another strategy. So I said, let's just build out another lead. We'll build out a lead generating website specific for that town. Again, we don't care about the map listing. We don't care about anything. We're just going to build this website, get it to rank out there. And hopefully with some time, it'll start to generate trickle in extra leads for him, right? Can't hurt. So what did we do? So we built this website right here and we followed the rules of SEO. And just to show you, you could check your your any website on something called uh, seoscan.org, and it kind of basically tells you the fundamentals. If you got the fundamentals of the SEO stuff down, pretty good, right? So I put that in here so you can see the title tag, Tascadero Junk Removal, five-star rated service. So this is what we're trying to rank for, Tascadero Junk Removal, and in reverse, Junk Removal Tascadero. So I made sure I included that into the title tag right? And make it look natural. Doesn't make it, don't make it look spammy. Declutter your space, high, highest rated junk removal service in a Tascadero. You can see that again. And then the H1 title tag tells it again, Tascadero junk removal. And you'll see some title tags, the H2s, right? Again, basically telling Google, this is what we do. And then we take a look at the content of the website. As I'm learning more and more of this SEO stuff, I'm starting to realize with the content, what I'm starting to see is that you should create less content, but make it better and how you structure it. Again, you got to try to build these websites for human beings, right? I know we get caught up with trying to build these websites for Google to rank, but at the end of the day, it's that human interaction that Google's measuring. 
So if you structure this website with the content that just block after block of content that's boring, uh, you know, it's going to make your customer's eyes glaze over and not want to take action on the website. So they're just going to move on. So now what I'm trying to do is kind of create the same amount of some kind of content, but trying to make it better. So it's more of the outline of the, what the website, how it structures, how it flows so that the customer will take action. So you'll see right here, it's less content, but better and gets the customer to take a look at everything. And at the end of the day, we just want the customer to take action, right? So either make a phone call here or fill out this email for and then exit the session. And you can see, I put it on this thing that I have where I track my websites and where they're ranking. And I'll show you guys that I put this on February 6th, 2024. I finished building the website. I structured everything on that website. I put his homepage, con about page, contact page, and I added five service, six service pages actually. And got that thing going. And you see, I said February 6, 2024. And within a month, it got onto that first page of Google. Right. And today, if I type in uh, Tascadero junk removal, right, those three words one, two, three, he's number three. Now, if I put it in reverse, junk removal of Tascadero, which is more of a search. One, two, three, four, five, right there. So hopefully with some time, it'll start to climb and get into this top section of the search results for this search term and start trickling some leads for this guy to get things going. So the second example I want to show you guys is for an asphalt paving contractor. He has a paving service out in San Jose, but we decided to go ahead and build another website for him about in Morgan Hill, California, which is about 30 miles away from San Jose. So I'm going to show you guys the results for this one. And on this one, I didn't even get to finish it. I've been so busy with so many other projects that I've kind of just kind of let it just slip. And I just built just all I did was build the homepage. I haven't built the about page, contact page. I didn't build Jack. All I did was build the homepage. I'm getting around to building the rest of it. But here's his website. You can see he's got no other pages, just this one page. Asphalt paving Morgan Hill, right? Follow the same rules of SEO. There's this H1 title tag, the meta description. I'll just tell you all that stuff's on here, right? Uh, there's the, all his pictures. Everything is all structured. Everything should be good to go. And I'm going to show you the results here. I finished this website with his homepage on February 19th, 2024. And 30 days later, he's ranking for all these keywords already, right? Asphalt paving Morgan Hill. Asphalt Morgan Hill, Asphalt Paving, Asphalt Contractor. So let's type in Asphalt Paving Morgan Hill. See how we're doing for that search right there. Again, no map listing. We don't care. We're just trying to get it uh, underneath the map listing or possibly even above, you know, as time goes on. One, two, three, four. There you go. Number four in the search results. And why is that? Did we do anything spectacular? I didn't do backlinks. We didn't do anything other than built that first page. Just follow the rules of SEO. So if you do this correctly, you know, you can get a website ranking on that first page of Google and, you know, three, four, five, six months down the road. It's a good possibility. So it even hit number one again, because nobody else has built a website for that specific search term, right? So the same thing could happen for someone who does flooring, for example, in Morgan Hill, right? I'm sure there's somebody who does a flooring contractor out there and they have no idea. I'll have to just build that website for flooring contractor, Morgan Hill, structure it correctly, get it built out. And it should, with time, with 30 to 60 days, it's going to get to that first page of Google because nobody else has built a website for that, right? And now if that business owner actually lives in Morgan Hill, he can create that map listing to connect to that website. Then his map listing has an even greater chance of ranking towards the top of that search results. Same thing for a painter. Is there a painting contractor in a Tascadero, California? I guarantee you there is. You know, every town needs a painter, right? And I guarantee you, nobody's even thought about building a website for a residential painter in a Tascadero or a Tascadero residential painter or anything like that. Nobody's even thought about it, you know? And so, so if you're a contractor who's kind of become aware that you need to get your business found online, I'm here to tell you, it's not very difficult. It's just structuring your website correctly. If you're in a more competitive area, of course, it's going to be a major uphill battle. And it just goes with the territory. If you're in a bigger area, more than likely there's more clientele, more business, but you also have to, you know, you're going to have to fight for it as compared to a smaller town. There's not as much business or anything like that, but it's easier to rank. So 
it kind of goes back and forth. So I just wanted to share with you guys how quickly SEO can work and rank a website to start generating leads for a contract. In fact, this is a method that it's been taught to a lot of stay at home moms, guys are looking for a side hustle, things like that. I go into in a video just like this one right here, they use this exact method to look into areas where there's low competition and they call it low hanging fruit to go in there and start building out these websites, start generating these leads and then sell them to contractors. And my theory behind it is why don't just have the contractor build these websites themselves, own and control these domains and all that stuff and start generating their own leads using the same method. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys want to know more about some of the services I provide, my training course, website designs, SEO, any of that stuff, all that stuff's in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.